Okay, so how, how does um, like trials riding compare to stunting, which uh, a lot of people may be more familiar with? Yeah, definitely, it's got a bigger audience. Uh, the main difference is the bikes, for sure. Trials bikes are a lot more minimalist. They're just made to save weight, so uh, we can take it up on top of obstacles. You know, a lot of the, the stunt riding is more kept on flat ground due to the size and the weight of the bikes, so it's a lot of wheelies and endos. We have those too, but then we get to incorporate the obstacles like this vast trials playground behind me, um, so we can ride up on top of stuff, uh, jump over, People. We got our boy Troy Smalls that puts his life on the line for us. So I guess the main difference is, is got to be the bikes themselves and the, the weight difference because in, with the lightweight you can uh, be a little more versatile. And as far as technique, like throttle and clutch, that type of thing, is it is it a, a lot easier on, on a bike of that size? Um, you know, to be honest, I haven't actually tried street bike stunting, so I think that probably a lot of the uh, a lot of the moves and a lot of the use of the controls is very similar. So um, I can't say firsthand, but I know uh, if you can ride a wheelie on one bike, usually you can transfer over to another bike. So um, I don't know, I'd have to give it a try, but I'm sure they're both quite difficult. So how did you and your brother get started riding trials? We got started from my dad. He was a, a motocross racer when he was younger, and then he got introduced to trials as he grew older. And um, we came along and started riding. He's like, hey, you guys check these bikes out. And myself, I was a little bit tentative at first. Had the motocross background going and kind of stuck at that. Pat took it like full bore into it and he kind of just grabbed the bull by the horns and went after it and you know I came around and eventually realized that it's like the ultimate form of motorcycling. It just teaches you how to ride a bike, the ultimate challenge and so because our dad and, and our family and our parents and stuff, that's how we got started and that's what kept us going. And your, your brother um, had a go at the world championships over, over in the European circuit. Yeah, he's, he's uh, actually the first American in the last like 35 years to go overseas and actually see success uh, get on top of a podium. So um, he, he went and he gave it his best shot. Unfortunately, the level of support for an American coming over there wasn't quite what needed to make the trips worthwhile. Um, but he went over there, he gave it his best shot and came away with some victories at least. So um, it was a really cool experience for him and I'm really proud of him and glad that he got to do that. There's no sort of comparable series like championship for the US really is there? I mean if you want to compete in trials is it, is it all in Europe? Um, they, there is US national championships. Um, the level that the US national championships are compared to the world championships is a very big difference. So um, I mean unless you if you want to be at the top the pinnacle of the sport you got to be in Europe and you really have to live there so that's another thing that he was battling with. If he wanted to be successful he would have to move over there and live and train with the best and really he'd have to give up his family, his friends, his whole life and so it really he got away the options and um, he chose to stay back here and hey that led to us doing shows so uh, everything works out for a reason, everything happens for a reason and I guess that's that's why that happened like that. And so how long have you, you and your brother been doing the, the, the show this series together? Um, we've been performing for about uh, eight years or so. Um, started a small time back in Wisconsin doing some events around the Midwest county fairs, doing motorcycle shops, doing rate motocross races and stuff and now we've been spreading across the United States and really getting a lot of exposure after our TV gig this summer so it's really helped grow the sport as a whole, what we're doing with our shows and you know shed some positive light on motorcycling in general so that was a good thing about that. Of all the places you've performed, is there any sort of one stand up place that had a, had a good atmosphere or a good crowd or a particularly challenging um, set up? Um, it was, uh, four weeks ago we were down in Florida doing a show and it was kind of special because half the crowd knew us from Wisconsin. They were from Wisconsin and so that was really, that was kind of cool. It was like a hometown show outside of being in your hometown. Um, this past weekend was uh, shop, stop number two at the IMS tour in Dallas, Texas and best crowd I've seen at a, at a trials show so far. They were doing the wave, they were just getting so into it. And whenever you can see a pumped up crowd, it just it raises your energy level, it just makes the whole thing that much more enjoyable. So far this weekend in Long Beach, uh, we're outside so we're set a little bit away from the action, but they've still been coming out in numbers. And, and when you see a packed fence, you know, it just makes you want to put that much more energy into it. And so it's, it's really been good to see. You know, Long Beach has been a really good stop so far. So I have a feeling that uh, a lot of the shows on the tour are going to be quite quite similar. And it's been really good. Are you doing every every date on the tour? Did yeah, we'll be, we'll be at all 12 stops of the tour, so. Um, how, many, how, many tours, uh, how many shows a day? See, it goes. Friday we have two shows, Saturday four shows, that's the 
that's a knuckle dragger there. <laughs> and then three shows on Sunday. So um, stacking shows and hopefully, you know, introducing more people into the sport and entertaining along the way. As far as adding new tricks to the, to the show, how, how do you come up with like new material? Um, right now, unfortunately, new material comes by the way of money. <laughs> you know, in order to get new avenues and new ways of the trailer, we have to invest money into the trailer to make the different obstacles. So um, we're always progressing in our mind and imp improving our riding, but it does come down to what we can invest back into the trailer. So we're working on some things and actually picking up some sponsors and some support through the tour that we can incorporate new things into our show. So hopefully by the end of the tour in uh, March in Daytona, you'll be seeing some new things.